Let's go! Ah! Oh! Finally! Demon Slayer is back! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna feel this way again when um, Attack on Titan comes back. Like there are just there are just there are just there are just certain things that I'm waiting for that are that I'm super hyped for, man. The the final season of Attack on Titan. Um, this current season of Demon Slayer is gonna be fucking amazing. I can't wait for, wait for people to see the uh, the Shuyabaya the Shuya, Shibuya, Shibuya arc. I think that's it. I may be wrong. I may have butchered that. I apologize. But it's with my it's with my man the uh, the what is his name the um the 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 the, the, the flashy Hashira um with, with with the diamond drip earrings. It's so nice to be back, and and I'm gonna be saying that a lot because I've been watching like a lot of anime, but like there's nothing like sitting down watching and enjoying an anime that you were super hyped for to come back and i was super hyped for demon slayer to come back like first off you didn't really i skipped the mugen train stuff i know there was some new stuff in there but i had watched the mugen train movie like five times so i really didn't feel like rehashing that again um why you keep doing this to me man <laughs> like every time i move beyond rengoku's death you find a way to go ahead and bring back up Rengoku's death and it's just like why are you reminding me of this man and then you meet like his little brother and then you meet his dad and then there's like the whole family drama thing going on there um the <sighs> Rengoku's dad is like a whole case but it was nice seeing the fact that like he loved his son through like all the shit and being drunk and all the other bullshit that he was going through he loved his son regardless and it was nice to also show that, like, he learned too late at the end that Rengoku never hated him. Like, he always loved him across the board. But we're, 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 we're going to move the family thing to the side. How many fucking bodies does this man Muzan have? Like, he's got the Michael Jackson body. He's got the thick Dami Mommy body. And now he has, like, the child body. Bruh, how many families you got out here? You one man. Like, you got... You got the one family where you got the one family where it's you, your wife, and your daughter. Then you got like the other family where like you're the wife. And now you got another family where like you're the kid. Hey yo, bruh. <laughs> like, my man is so covert, it's overt. What is going on out here? Cause when I saw the kid, I couldn't remember whether or not a child shows up in the manga, because it's been a while since I've read that specific arc but then like when it's revealed that the kids moves on i was like hey oh my god like you're just out here you're just out here hiding everywhere how long have you been with this family this is absolutely fucking insane look at all this shit in this house they got pictures of you and all this other type of stuff so like are you gonna go through like a growth phase where like you start off as a kid and then you slowly grow into like an adult around this family like what's happening here number two when you attacked my man, number three, and you shattered the windows and there was blood on the floor. What happened to the broken windows? Where'd the blood go? Because your 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 dad just kind of walked in there and was like, "Hey there, son. I heard that. I heard a crash in here, and I came up here to check on you." Okay, but like, do you not see that broken ass wall? And do you also not see that blood that's all there on the ground? Because he had my man out here bleeding. Oh, but wait. Then again, like their blood does. Their blood does disappear after a while. Like, it, it vanishes if it stays in contact with the air long enough. So the blood would have disappeared. But then the broken wall and panels definitely wouldn't have, my guy. Like, I would have definitely spotted that. And I'm like, what happened up here, son? What, what's going on? I definitely love the fact that Tanjiro is learning more about um, sun breathing. Can't wait till we start getting that in the, in the show. As a manga reader, it is dope as fuck. Also, I cannot wait for that whole backstory explaining Tanjiro's family and their connection to sun breathing. Um, what else am I going to hit on? What am I going to hit on? I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting something. Oh, damn. What am I forgetting? This is the most odd. Like, like, this is one of the things about me. My, my whole creative process isn't involved around writing notes. I hate writing notes. I've always hated taking tests. Like, no. So I don't write anything down. 
like it's all off the top of my head the problem with having things off the top of your head is like you're thinking about random shit like for instance i'm thinking about um sun breathing i'm thinking about all the other breathing forms and the orders in which they come in there's a lot of things that get dropped here my man came back again yo when tanjiro threw that sword and 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 number three broke it i was like hey yo my boy about to come back to kill your ass because he almost killed your ass when you broke that first sword and sure enough my man was out there with like the two the two knives and he had like knives on top of his head and then knives on his chest like rambo and he ran that man down my man tanjiro was like hey yo bro my man chased me like all day son he was trying to kill me 24 <laughs> 7 hell i love the fact that like tanjiro was out there running for his life and um inosuke and fucking what you call it we're just like nah like we'll help you fight like other people but we're definitely not gonna go out there and help you fight that people we are gonna stay in here but like i always love those sequences those sequ those sequences are fucking hilarious and i can't wait until we get to the the sword crafters village and we see like his whole process and like just how insane i'm not, not not insane insane but like just how dedicated he is to his swords and why exactly it is he takes offense every single fucking time tanjiro breaks him but yeah strong ass fucking episode hyped for the episode next week i cannot fucking wait it's also super fucking late and i should probably wrap this up so i'm definitely gonna wrap this up and i'll catch you in the uh the episode the episode two video or it's like episode seven technically episode one of this arc Crunchyroll breaks shit down weird because like i'm like ah season two and then when i click on season two it's like season two mugen train season two blah 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 season two uh shibuya arc so i'm assuming we're in the shibuya arc i think it's the shibuya arc whatever it doesn't matter i'll see you next week peace